My name is Tyler Twyford, and I work as an environmental educator at the James River Park. Today we're here at the historic Pump House Park, which was constructed from 1881 until 1883. After its completion in 1883, this building pumped untreated river water up to the Bird Park Reservoir, where it could be gravity-fed into people's homes. This building was built in a neo-Gothic style during the Reconstruction period after the Civil War, both as a functioning waterworks to usher us into a more modern era, and also as a place of celebration with an open-air dance hall on the top floor. The first two rooms we're going to see were actually added as additions in 1905 to bring hydroelectricity to the people of Richmond. This room actually housed two boilers, a boiler and a furnace here, that would run a steam engine that could actually begin the electric generation process. If you look in the corner here, you can see a chimney that would be used to exhaust these furnaces. So my name is Chris. I've been a volunteer at the pump house for about 15 years. We've worked at various parts of the building, but right now we're in the generator room of the pump house. And what you should notice behind me is a wonderful set of doors. These doors have been restored from various donations. We had a wonderful crew that came in, but that door has now been repaired. We're very grateful for the men that did it. We're now here in the original 1883 pumping structure of the pump house. While you're down here, you're gonna to have to use a little bit of your imagination because most of the machinery has been removed and sold for scrap metal. The way this would have worked is by the force of falling water, falling from the heights of the feeder canal to the height of the Kanawha Canal on the other side of the building. And they would pump water up to the Bird Park Reservoir where it could be gravity fed to people's homes. If you look closely under the water here, you'll see a pointed piece of wood and you'll also see some curved pieces. These are actually the remains of a canal boat that would have been used to navigate this canal here in Richmond. So we're here now upstairs at the pump house. This room was actually designed to be a ballroom. So this building was built not only as a functional public works, but also as an exciting gathering place for people in the community. This would have been the place to host a lot of cotillion style dances. People would ride canal boats from downtown around 7th Street and they could take a leisurely float up the canal to the pump house and enjoy a wonderful night of dancing. We hope you've enjoyed this brief glimpse of the inside of the pump house and we encourage you to join us for an in-person tour. Hi, I'm Cassie Patterson. I'm the president of the Friends of Pump House. We're a nonprofit organization filled with volunteers. Our mission is to vitalize this beautiful building. For more information on how to support the Pump House and the Friends of Pump House, we really urge you to come visit our website, friendsofpumphouse.org, and our social medias to find out how you can become more involved and how you can donate and become a member. Thanks.